Hello all, this is Dr. Shilpi Reddy and we are discussing about female sexual dysfunction. Female sexual dysfunction is very less discussed. But yes, I know when you should come to a doctor when you are having an issue with your sexuality and sexual dysfunctions. These points are very important in guiding you actually when is the right time to see the doctor. Whenever women face difficulties in sexual activity, thought of sexual activity or the desire for sexual activity, they can at times take it as a phase in their life and they can forget or they can postpone things. But when sexual problems are uh, you know, affecting your relationships, that is when uh, women take it as a challenge and come for counselling or come to check what is the thing that is taking them away from. A relationship that has to go smoothly so any sexual problem that is affecting your relationship can be one of the uh, you know way that you should come and see the doctor so whenever women have uh, worries about their sexuality that can also be one of the time that actually you can come and see the doctor and to see the doctor uh, can be a very uh, emotionally draining thing but Yes, you have to take challenges when you really have disturbances in your life and how to talk about problems like sexuality and sexual dysfunction, especially when it is concerned to females. It is a daunting task, but put your foot front when you have had bad experiences haunting you and when, you have, when your bad experiences are the reason behind you having a sexual life. And uh, uh, if you have a history of sexual abuse and the sexual abu abuse history is haunting you then definitely you would need help and you need to talk to a doctor immediately and uh, uh, you, if if the concept of you know say female sexual dysfunction is hindering your own comfort and your own uh, you know life then definitely you have to come and check to a doctor and when to see a doctor is definitely a very skeptical thing people do come to a doctor when actually they have been completely down and uh, that is not the right time then we really want to see them we want to see them when they have actually had a problem in the initial stages of problem where you can actually deal with the problem and just get out of the situation there are phases of time people with fertility issues people with pregnancy people with childbirth and child care they have an enormous time and gap with their sexuality and they are devoid of sexual activity and that actually is very difficult to handle and treat because long gaps of absence of sexuality again to build up that chemistry is little difficult so you have to see the doctor as soon as you feel that they are coming as an endurance in the uh, you know uh, relationship between you and your partner and to see a doctor for female sexual dysfunction is definitely the need of the hour because women also need to you know have their own sexual needs and their own um, you know environment friendly sexuality and uh, when we talk about uh, the doctor's role in such things you can have your own uh, tips and tricks how to deal with sexual dysfunctions during fertility treatments and during your pregnancies and in our society still pregnancy means a, a gap of sexual activity but then that is that much is not needed unless you have any critical conditions that are supposed to be refraining you from sexual activity there is no need of actually refraining yourself from sexual activity and child care again post delivery child care and body uh, image issues there are several problems during pregnancy and childbirth that are causing a lot of problems and this is when you actually need to see the doctor if you see any vacuum or lacune in your sexual activity especially during uh, you know uh, perimenopausal years when there is a little bit of fat uh, accumulation and uh, you are dealing with obesity issues or any multiple uh, you know uh, problems like diabetes hypertension cholesterol problems and multiple medications causing a lot of less desire in sexual activity these are the times you actually you should support yourself with a doctor's appointment for female sexual dysfunction so the phases in life come and go and uh, every phase in life is is in itself a special phase because you've not gone through it before and for people who have gone through these 
faces again and again like pregnancies and childbirths and child care they should be able to help themselves with the experience of what they have had and what changes they would like to have in the next pregnancy so that should be a planned thing and you should never give uh, this as a reason to having a sexual dysfunction and especially women at menopause do have lot of problems in uh, you know sexual activity because of lack of the hormones so definitely a doctor would be able to help you deal with these kind of problems which are actually physically you know physical inhibitions like uh, you know hormone deficiencies and uh, lubrication issues and dryness issues and all these things so these are the times uh, that are very very important phases in women's life to enter into the chamber of discussion of the female sexual dysfunctions